Sagittarius, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 9th to the 15th of August 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. So let's begin. I'll let you in on a secret that I did with the other two. I'm doing these readings early. Um, I've got a busy weekend ahead, social weekends. I've got my friends band gig on Friday night. I've got Green Day one, Blink 182 tribute band show on Saturday night. And I usually do your readings on Sunday and I probably won't have very much energy to do that. So hence I am doing these now. Anyway, Sagittarius, you get number 35, Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan. I'm in Queensland, Australia. Koala bears are ours. And um, yeah, love that. Spirit has a plan. Divine timing. Don't always know what that is. Don't always know what that plan is or that reason is. But um, yeah, Spirit knows. Spirit has that plan for you. Right, Sagittarius, nothing's jumping out here, I can't even take one. <laughs> one please. Let's take that top one, jumped up. Okay, and you get number 21, the Enchanter, Dream. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. Brilliant. Hope that's for all of you. Spirit has a plan, but you can help it along the way. Love it. Right, Sagittarius, let's see what we've got here. Shall I let you in on another secret? This is take two, because my video froze just as I started this stage. And um, so we had to start again. My shuffling went a bit better this time too. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Right, Sagittarius. Overall, Sagittarius, the High Priestess. Very observant, but not wanting to let your guard down too much or be overwhelmed by everything, but actually sitting back, still watching, listening, what's going on around you, and being very aware of what's happening. Past energies, you've had the Devil, Judgment, Three of Pentacles. Okay, could be dealing with a Capricorn here, but like very negative, toxic energy, possibly an addiction of some sort, whether it's within, or somebody close to you but it's also just negative energy trying to drag you down right there in the past might have come from somebody not keeping an open mind whether you're judging others or others are judging you here but then you kick yourself back into gear here put yourself back into the spotlight getting some planning and details happening to get things moving breaking up this energy right here Present energies, Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Emperor. It's been a hell of a ride, but you're bringing an end to that painful cycle. I think coming off this has caused a lot of pain and it's coming to its conclusion right there. But there's just still something that you're not wanting to let go of, something or someone. But in the core of your reading, you're remaining very balanced while you are hanging on to this energy here. And you have the Emperor here, got your back, very brave, very courageous very logical, very much getting control of the situation. And again, maybe still coming back off this here. Could be dealing with an Aries, did I say that? Future energies, Three of Wands, Ten of Wands, Princess of cup and Cups. Bringing an end to that painful cycle, feeling like you're carrying this weight of the world on your shoulders, doing everything yourself. Seeing the bigger picture now, seeing things a lot more clearer, maybe in a more positive way, could be something or someone, and it may be around love. There's love on offer here that may bring an end to this cycle as well. So given you've got these two tens in this reading, along with this further back, Hopefully the end of these cycles refer to that devil energy at the start there. 
Right, so, but we'll clarify each of these. Sagittarius still might be a bit of a journey for you. Right, starting with the High Priestess overall. This may be why you're not wanting to let your guard down too much or be overwhelmed by everything. Because you may have been going through a bit already. Okay, but High Priestess, you get King of Cups, King of Wands, Eight of Cups. Getting control of your emotions, getting control over where you're heading towards and your dreams and your goals. But maybe being very aware that you need to leave some sort of emotional attachment behind first. And um, not afraid to let that go when it's not working for you anymore. So past energies. Let's see what this devil's doing here. Six of swords. Love that. King of swords. Page of cups. Being able to move forward. Possibly in secret. Under cover of darkness. But starting to use your head over your heart. Thinking things through clearly and logically. Possibly when it comes to love, there is offer here. Whether you're offering love, someone's offering love to you. Maybe breaking that devil energy up, that negative energy that's not needed. And be able to move forward from there. So love that right at the start now. Judgments, you get Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, Justice. And it gets better. Slow process. It's always a very slow process trying to break that energy, negative energy up. Okay, but getting control of the situation, getting things moving again. But things may be moving slowly at first, not a problem there. But there's justice here, good karma, good reward, sweet justice. Could be dealing with a Libra or Cancer, but again, that whole process may be extremely slow to go through. And the Three of Pentacles... You get the devil again, four of cups, and the queen of swords. I think it's here this time because it's like, okay, so getting the success building and breaking that energy up. Still being quite focused here, and maybe that's, um, that is the focus right there, trying to break this up here. But by taking that more direct upfront approach, different approach to what you would usually take possibly, ready to clear the air, cut, the, um, cut that negative air out of the way there, and um, quite brutally up front possibly as well, different approach towards something or someone. But you come into your present energies, Ten of Swords, the end of this cycle with the Empress, Five of Wands, the world. Yeah, it's happened for a reason, as I said, with Spirit has a plan. We don't always know what the reason is at the time, but at the same time, you've had very aware of this um, conflict, of this drama that's been unfolding around you. Whether it involved you, whether it's just around you, you're not wanting a bar of it. That world is now pushing you forward. And as I said, it's, hap it's happened in the past as this for a reason. So we come to the Four of Pentacles with the Three of Cups, Six of Cups, the Tower. There's something to celebrate here, whether it's virtually online or being able to get together with friends and family to celebrate. Maybe a reconciliation on offer here. Somebody may be wanting to come back into your life. It may even be off the bat of all this in the past and you may not be wanting a bar of that. Okay, you're celebrating being able to move forward here. And release all that energy that you don't need in order to start a solid new beginning. Six of Cups also talks about memories, fond memories, playful energy, butterfly in your tummies feeling. But I think given the energy and the flow of this here, possibly a reconciliation of some sort that you're not wanting to know about. And um, you're too busy celebrating being able to move forward here. You've got the Emperor. With the Three of Wands, which we have next, Two of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Seeing the bigger picture when it comes to love. Maybe in a more positive way you've seen somebody. Maybe in a, not in a positive way, but I think given that you've put the hard work in and the way they came out in that order, I actually think there's new love here that you're actually seeing in a more positive light. Maybe somebody that you've known for quite a while, but you haven't thought about them in that way before. And it's kind of like, oh, okay, well, 
and now you're willing to put the hard work in to um, get things happening there. So Sagittarius, love that. And I do say, because three, three of wands in your future energies now, seen the bigger picture, flew out of the pack. Ace of Cups, new love, magician and knight of wands. Maybe an existing relationship that's stepping up to the next level, next chapter. It may be meeting somebody extremely brand new, but you're creating and manifesting a way for this new love to be happening. You've now seen things a lot more clearer. And you know that it's been a rocky ride or that it may still be a rocky ride but you've got that confidence and determination to see this through so loving it now Sagittarius ten of wands <laughs> you get the Sun <laughs> Queen of Cups and the four of wands stability commitment loving nurturing energy around you bringing you that sense of freedom sense of release of energy not needed and go for all this happiness and joy and stability and commitment wow <laughs> wow well wow <laughs> and you finish with the princess of cups two of wands ace of wands eight of swords yeah, so having this new vision now, where you want to go towards this whole brand new beginning, may come after an apology is due to be given or received, but as well, being able to now find other ways around things to get to your destination, rather than feel like you're in a stalemate situation or come to a grinding halt. So Sagittarius, brilliant. I love it in the end. You've been through a hell of a time, possibly, and coming out of this... Wow. <laughs> See what the universe has. You get the Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. So being very focused, very dedicated, very hard working, but don't miss other opportunities around you. Very hard working to see that success start to grow now and been getting through all these hurdles and obstacles, which we now know you have from your past energies, and now onto solid ground, which we now know from your future energies. So um, hopefully from here down, <laughs> that is all for, for, all for you, for all of you. But um, Sagittarius, love it. So we'll finish with Open Spirit Oracle. Take time for reflection. Life can wait. Love that because it is. Slow things down and um, take time out for yourself as needed. Possibly very much after that. And, um, and life can wait because, yeah, this is still on the journey for you. Because spirit has that plan right there so I love it that's what I have do hope it helped if you click that like and subscribe button down there thanks for watching and I'll see you all next week see ya bye